Hello. Hello and welcome to Divine Vintage and Antiques. Today I'm going to share with you some of the Art Deco jewelry that I have in my collection. Some of it is from the Art Deco period and some of it is in the style of Art Deco. So thanks for coming along on this journey to see all sorts of fun Art Deco pieces. I love looking at jewelry, I love wearing jewelry, I love finding jewelry and learning about it, and I hope you do too. So this piece is by J.J. White. It's a designer from the 1910s, 1920s. This piece is rhodium plated bracelet. It has a glass uh, blue stone. It's got a little bit of damage, a little chipping there. Um, and then it has a gold decoration applied as well. So this is not sterling, this is just costume jewelry, but it is quite collectible. It's very fragile and delicate. It has this gorgeous filigree work on it. And a lot of the gold is still on this bracelet. Many bracelets I've seen similar to this, uh, the gold has worn away. So this has a little clasp on it right here and a hinge so that you can get your arm and hand into that bracelet. And it is marked. Let's see if I can show you the marking here. It's got a patent number, and then it's got the JJ emblem as well. So it's a very, very delicate bracelet. I haven't worn this very much. I recently acquired, and I just have to be careful when I'm wearing it not to be too enthusiastic with my hands. Um, I have another uh, Art Deco bracelet. This is a link bracelet with rhinestones. So the Art Deco style is very much linear, geometric. These panels are just made of pot metal. Uh, you can see it's the rhodium plating isn't very strong on this. I don't think this is a really um, fantastic quality piece of jewelry, but it is very pretty. It's missing a few rhinestones I need to fix. It has the fold over clasp. Anyway, that's a very lovely, delicate bracelet. I have another one, which is a little better quality. You can tell the quality by the weight of the bracelet or the jewelry when you hold it in your hands. This definitely has more uh, heft to it. It's got these stunning baguette um, rhinestones in the center of each panel. And again, you can see the geometric shape on this bracelet. It's got a fold over clasp as well. And when I turn it over, you can see the rhodium plating is much nicer on this one than the previous one. It's very shiny. So um, that's a really nice piece. Now, um, some of the jewelry uh, from the 1920s Art Deco period, they did a lot of beads, crystals. And this is a stunning crystal necklace. This has three um, uh, variation hanging section on it. It's on one strand, but then it divides into three strands and they're graduated. And there's a little crystal right here that divides the three strands. Um, and then these crystals that once again, you can see the geometric shape um, as the crystals in their graduated form have been applied into this necklace. It's very, very sparkly, um, and it's a great Art Deco piece. Now, I'm going to share with you several different beaded necklaces, and they all have a similar clasp. In the 1920s and 10s, they used this um, barrel clasp, and you can see the, the shape on it. It's got these graduated circles. And they, it actually separates and you are able to unscrew the barrel clasp without turning the, the strand of beads because there's a separator right in there and it allows it to work independently. Um, this is an interesting necklace. 
it's all glass and it's got um, these cream colored glass beads and flower style beads in the um, kind of a yellowish and a lime green. I think this is a great piece for the spring or summer. Um, I did restring this it on the silk cord because the silk cord, um, especially where it's attached to the barrel clasp, can start to fray. So I restrung this with silk cord. I used number five. And the next few pieces are all crystals and they all have the same barrel clasp. So this is a very popular style in the Art Deco period, these beautiful crystals. A lot of the glass came from Czechoslovakia. So are these Czech crystals? They could be, I don't know for sure, but they certainly are very sparkly and heavy. And you'll see that a lot of these uh, beads are separated with a, um, a thin little white flat edged on the side and circular crystal. So these are in green. I think a very beautiful green with that same barrel style clasp. And these are about 14 to 16 inches. They're more of a choker style. So those are the green and I have it in blue. So this again, that same barrel clasp in blue. I did restring these because they broke on me. Now these are a little different because they have the bicone separators. So um, I found that interesting. Uh, once again, they're very heavy and very sparkly and the same size, about 16 inches. Uh, the last one I have is a red and white. Once again, that same barrel clasp. And these have the same white separators like the green one did. And once again, round faceted beads in graduated shapes and sizes. Very heavy, substantial, same size. So there are four beaded necklaces all with that barrel clasp. Now some other um, necklaces. This is um, uh, a necklace from the De Art Deco period. They had a lot of these um, pendant glass necklaces with crystals. This one is made with brass chain. And it has a spring ring clasp. So it's very delicate, very dainty. It's again about 16 inches, but you can see it right there. Very pretty. And um, in the same vein, I have this blue beaded one. I believe this is from Czechoslovakia too, but look at this. So this is not sterling silver. This is just pot metal. It has, it's known as a negligee style with the double um, drops hanging from a, um, uh, a decorative filigree piece. And then it's got the glass um, beads attached, they're open back, and then oblong beads attached. So this is pretty stunning. I'm pretty sure this is Czechoslovakian. It's very, very delicate. Um, another piece similar to this is sterling silver. Um, this is also Czech glass. This has some clear and blue glass stones in it. And they are open back. Very delicate sterling silver. Again, I believe an Art Deco Czech glass piece. And this is a lovely pendant. This is pot metal. And this is a purple glass, beautiful faceted glass. I believe these have paste stones in it. Uh, it's missing a few. I need to replace those. The piece of glass is nicely faceted. 
It's very heavy. It has a nice bale attached to it. And it's on a sterling silver chain. I don't think this is the original chain. It could be. I don't know. This style of chain, it's kind of a paperclip chain, but then it has um, some other smaller pieces in between each paperclip. So I don't know. This chain is marked sterling. Um, this pendant is not marked sterling. But I think it's quite spectacular in the geometric design. Um, additionally, more along the line of the beaded necklaces, in the 1920s, the flapper style, they had a lot of tassels. And these beads look um, like the Murano uh, wedding cake beads. I don't know if they are Murano or not, but they have the applied glass on them. And then look at these stunning red beads. So they're all uh, woven together. And these older ones, you can tell because they've got a little more faceting to them than our modern day seed beads. So this is a very long, what's called a lariat necklace. It's very, very long. And so you'd wear this around your um, neck, maybe tie it, maybe have it hanging on either side of your neck. Um, it was nice with the long lined dresses that were worn in the 1920s. And um, it's very, very beautiful lariat style necklace. Additionally, with the long necklaces, I have this long blue necklace. These are all hand cut glass beads and they are knotted in, in between each one. And this is very, very, very long, a great flapper necklace. And looking at the beads, you can see how they're all different because they're hand cut versus machine cut. Um, this could be Czech glass. It's very, very heavy and very brilliant. Um, so this is a really fun piece to wear. So let's push these out of the way a little bit. Um, and then another last necklace for today. Um, but I have some other lovely deco pieces coming. Um, so this is a uh, tassel necklace, once again, with the red beads. Um, and then it has uh, hand cut beads with smaller seed beads in between and then some large faceted cone style beads. You can see how they're cut along with some rounds, some more cone style. There's a few little chipping in that, but when a piece is 100 years old, you expect some of the glass to be chipped. So this necklace has no clasp on it, but it's large enough to slip over your head and hang um, down to your waist. So that's a lovely Art Deco necklace with beautiful beads. So let's move on to some, uh, well, I have a ring here. So this ring, I think, is Art Deco. It's got the similar style to the Art Deco with the design element. Um, this is sterling silver. And then I'm not really sure what the colored pieces are that are inside the um, shapes made by the sterling silver. Um, it doesn't have any maker's mark, but it is does have, uh, somebody had written something, a name on here. Let's see if we can get it into focus. Um, and so that is kind of interesting to see. It's a little ring. It probably fits on my pinky finger. Um, but it's a really interesting Art Deco piece. Got some gold, orange, white, and black. Um, I have some Art Deco earrings. So this is sterling silver with marcasites. These are very delicate, very dainty. Um, but um, I'm not sure if they're from the Art Deco period or just in the style of Art Deco. Um, they are have that geometric shape to them. And the back 
they are marked 925 on the back. Um, now, I love watching the television show Hercule Poirot. Um, and I love watching it because I like to look at all the hair and clothing and jewelry that's used in the show. Uh, I get a lot of ideas of what the Art Deco style was from that show. Um, so these are not authentic Art Deco. These are a reproduction. But this long dangly type of earring uh, is what um, the Art Deco style was. I saw this, see this a lot in the Poirot shows. And I really think the production team for the Poirot uh, television shows does a very nice job of being as authentic as possible. So I do love these um, costume uh, earrings. And the brand 1928 um, puts out some beautiful jewelry. Uh, they are reproduction pieces um, in the style of the Art Deco period. Um, this is a pair I got recently at the thrift store. They are rhinestones, 1928 brand. I think they're beautiful Art Deco style earring. And on the back, you'll see the uh, swirly pattern that is uh, indicative of the 1928 style jewelry. Aren't those beautiful? Um, let's see, I have a pair of, these I believe are Monet earrings, so they're not from the Art Deco period, but they are indicative of the Art Deco period. Um, they are very geometric in shape. They are rhinestones, like a pinky purple rhinestone. They have that lovely geometric, and then the little dangle um, crystal on the bottom, similar to the necklaces I shared with you. So these are really quite beautiful. And they are marked Monet on the back. Oop. So, um, yeah, these are very long, very glamorous. And here's a pair of sterling silver Art Deco style now, earrings with mother of pearl and marcasites. They have a little hinge mechanism on them. It makes them move, which is fun. I don't think these are very old. These probably are from the 90s, maybe from Thailand. They're marked 925. Or they could be earlier, maybe from the 70s or 80s. But they are really awesome uh, Art Deco style with the geometric shape. Um, now these are, are modern, but I feel like they are in the style of Art Deco. These are these uh, crystals, hanging crystal earrings. And I saw a lot of this style of earring on the um, Poirot television show that the women wore. Uh, and I think those are pretty stunning, really beautiful. These I actually got from another YouTuber that I watch, Lucia Splendors. She does some lovely videos and she has a um, eBay store or an Etsy store. Um, and she has very knowledgeable about uh, jewelry, vintage jewelry. I do like to watch um, other YouTubers who talk about jewelry. That's how I learn a lot of what I'm sharing with you too. Um, I like to uh, watch Princess Casserole's web uh, YouTube station. Princess Casserole. I like Nola Collectibles. She's got a great YouTube uh, channel. She knows a lot about jewelry. Um, so yeah, definitely explore on YouTube other YouTubers. Um, I just love watching videos about jewelry. Um, so this one, I think these are modern. I don't think these are Art Deco, but they are in the Art Deco style. Look at that wild huge pink rhinestones. This is um, actually, it's it's two layers, look at that. So it has a lot of movement. Um, so those are pretty spectacular. And they have a nice rhodium plating on the back. Um, so those are pretty cool. Bling, bling. Um, and then I have this hair clip 
I think in the Art Deco style, it might be original from the Art Deco. I'm not really sure. I don't know that much about hair jewelry. Um, it has a, a um, hinge on it so that you can clip it into your upswept updo. Um, but you know, in the Art Deco style, a lot of women had very short hair. So I'm wondering if this would have been used in the short uh, hair of the flappers, the bobber, bobbed hair style. Anyway, I think it's a really nice geometric style of um, hair decoration. And this is again, just pot metal. So the last piece I'm gonna share with you today is an Art Deco dress clip. Um, this is made of pot metal with some beautiful rhinestones. Um, once again, you've got that elongated shape, the geometric shape. Here's the back so you can see the dress clip. It's just pot metal on the back. And you would have clipped this onto your dress to add a little extra va va voom, a little extra decoration on your dress, especially if you only had one or two dresses to go out, um, the way you could change it up was by putting different dress clips on. So I hope you enjoyed my Art Deco Jewelry Haul collection and um, please stay tuned to more videos coming your way. Um, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. I'm happy to hear whatever information you may know. And um, keep looking at jewelry, keep enjoying jewelry, um, and keep having a wonderful day. See you soon. Thanks. Bye.